it's Jen Prentice with Experts Exchange. If you are watching this video, it's either because you want to learn a little bit more about the Galaxy Nexus or because Santa left some money under the tree for you and you're thinking of getting a new mobile device. So I have here the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. It is on the Verizon network, which means that it's operating on 4G LTE. One of those are two of the big things that people really love about this phone. Rumor has it that the bandwidth is able to download files that are anywhere between 15 and 18 megabits in about one second and upload files at about the same speed. The phone retails for about $299, which is a hefty price for a mobile phone. So let's check out some of the features and see if it's worth it. As you can see here, the uh, display on the phone is rather large, which is actually one of the drawbacks for me personally. I have rather small hands and the phone is rather large, so I can't uh, use my thumb to touch all four corners of the phone. Whereas with the iPhone, which I have here in my pocket, as you can see, the iPhone is significantly smaller than this phone, and I actually can touch all four corners of the iPhone 4S with my thumb. Nonetheless, undeterred, let's put the iPhone back in my pocket here and take a look at the Galaxy Nexus. So one of the things that's very cool about the desktop on the Galaxy Nexus is that you can group apps on the fly. Let's go here. You just go down to the app uh, interface. You can grab one of your apps. It puts it on the desktop that you were last on. Go back and grab another app. It will also put that app on the desktop that you were last on. And then grab one app, layer it on top of the other, and there you've grouped an app on the fly. If you want to get rid of that group, all you do is long press and push up to remove it. That's actually one of the things that I find really cool about the Galaxy Nexus phone is that there are a lot of swiping options. Um, much like other phones, the notifications are at the top of the phone up here. And if you want to get rid of one of the notifications, all you have to do is just swipe it to the corner, which this actually isn't swiping to the corner, so we'll edit that out later. But all you have to do is swipe it to the corner and get rid of it. Let's go back to the home screen. We will demonstrate another thing that I find really cool about the Galaxy Nexus is that you can size widgets the way that you want them. So here you see I'm scrolling through the phone. We'll go to a blank desktop, go back to the apps and press this widgets button here at the top. I have my bookmarks. So I'll long press the bookmarks, put it over here. Now if I long press the bookmarks again, I can actually scale the widget. So there you see little diamonds come up. I can make the widget wider, I can make the widget taller. And while we're here, why don't we check out YouTube and see how the Galaxy Nexus plays video. So the YouTube app is opening up. Let's check out this video here. We'll also look at how the screen rotates on the Galaxy Nexus. We'll play the video. It's loading. The video comes up. The volume control for the Galaxy Nexus is on the side. Let's rotate the phone. You can see that it's generally the same. Uh, the rotation speed is generally the same as other phones. I actually did a brief comparison of the iPhone 4S and the Galaxy Nexus earlier this week, and the iPhone 4S does have a faster rotating speed than the Galaxy Nexus. Another thing about the Galaxy Nexus is that because it's a very high resolution display, but because it's a larger screen, it does tend to look as if it's a little bit more pixelated and it's not as high definition as the iPhone 4S. iPhone 4S is still the best phone for streaming video, in my opinion. So let's stop this YouTube video or pause it. Let's go back to the home screen, pull up our web browser, and let's do a little search here to see if, oh, this might search YouTube for us, so we'll have to keep Going back here, we'll go back to Google, see if we can, yep, there we go. Google was already in my bookmarks. So we will go to Google, we will search the web, and we will search for Experts Exchange. Let's see how fast it pulls up Experts Exchange. So I've just tapped on Experts Exchange. There you go, it pulls it up in the search results. Let's tap on the actual search result. And there's the desktop version of the site. It's fully loaded. Because it's on the 4G network, it is a lot faster than other mobile phones out there. So that is definitely 
one of the advantages to getting a Galaxy Nexus. So one of the things that um, Samsung and Google really pushed with the Galaxy Nexus phone is the camera and its ability to take pictures very fast. The camera is only five megapixels, which is less than the camera on the iPhone, but it does take pictures much faster than the iPhone camera. I actually did a comparison yesterday of the two phones and the Galaxy Nexus takes pictures much faster than the iPhone 4S. So let's take a look at how fast the camera takes pictures. I'm gonna take multiple pictures here. So we will turn the phone back on. We will pull up the camera button. And as you can see, here's the camera. Push this little blue button to take the pictures. So let's take a couple pictures. Pretty much as fast as I can move my finger to take a picture is how fast this camera takes a picture. It does have an LED flash on it as well, which is an asset to the camera. So I'm very impressed with this camera and honestly, even though it's fewer megapixels than the iPhone 4S phone, it still takes fine pictures for a mobile phone. The thing to note about this phone though is that it's a pretty robust phone. It is not as intuitive as some of the other phones on the market. Um, as you can see from looking, let's go ahead and do away with the bookmarks here. All you have to do is just slide up to remove them. There we go. If we go back to the home screen, you can see that it's actually rather complicated and has a number of different buttons that you can push. It's just not as intuitive as some of the other smartphones on the market, which makes it less appealing to first time smartphone users. Personally, I would rather have a less intuitive phone because I'm a little overwhelmed by this phone. However, it is worth every penny of the $299 that it retails for because of how fast it is and because of its robust features. The 4G network, LTE, very cool. The phone's definitely worth the money. It's really just a matter of whether you are an experienced smartphone user or a more novice smartphone user. If you're a more novice smartphone user, I would recommend the iPhone 4S, but if not, this is definitely the phone for you.